The TV series Outlander has gained a reputation as one of the best historical shows currently available on Netflix. It has captivated millions of viewers with its compelling portrayal of 1700s Scotland and other historical periods, drawing them into the lives of their favorite characters and even featuring some real historical figures. However, in January 2023, Stars, the network behind the show, disappointed fans by announcing that the eighth season would be the series' final installment. This news left many fans saddened. But there was a silver lining amidst the disappointment. Stars also revealed that they would be launching a prequel series called Outlander Blood of My Blood once Season 8 concluded, ensuring that the Outlander legacy would continue. Despite facing some production challenges, Outlander Blood of My Blood seems to be making progress and getting back on track. Fans are eagerly anticipating this prequel series. Regrettably, just like many other TV productions, the start of production for Outlander Blood of My Blood faced significant delays due to two labor strikes, the Writers Guild of America strike and the sag aftra strike. However, there's some recent good news to report. After a lengthy 148-day standoff, a groundbreaking agreement was reached, bringing an end to the WGA strike. While the actor strike continues, the resolution of the WGA strike means that scheduling and production planning for the Outlander prequel can resume. There is also a glimmer of hope that the SAG strike might also be resolved in the near future. However, it's important to note that these strikes will have a lasting impact on the release date of Outlander Blood of My Blood. The initial plan was for the prequel to launch after the eighth season of the main Outlander series. Given the delays caused by the strikes, it now appears that fans may have to wait until at least 2025 to see the prequel. By the way guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up for this video and for more updates, subscribe to our channel. With that, let's see who are the cast and characters of Outlander Blood of My Blood. While we don't have specific casting details for Outlander Blood of My Blood yet, we do have some insights into the characters who will be featured in the upcoming prequel series. This show will primarily focus on the lives of Jamie Fraser's parents, Ellen and Brian, but it will be set before the birth of Jamie and his two siblings. Try that again and I'll slap you until your ears ring. Brute and a fool! This suggests that Jamie and his siblings might not appear in the prequel unless there are some time travel or flash forward elements in the storyline. There's also potential for other familiar characters from the Outlander universe to make appearances. These could include Ellen's sisters Janet, Jocasta, and Flora, as well as her brothers Colm and Dougal. Characters like Simon and Alexander might also have a role in the series. Notably, Brian, who was shown in a flashback during Season 1, could make an appearance, possibly with actor Andrew Whipp reprising the role. The beloved character Murtaugh, portrayed by Duncan Lacroix, might also return. Along with the significant age difference, it's possible that different actors will play these characters. Showrunner Matthew B. Roberts has assured fans that there will be some familiar names and faces from the Outlander series, suggesting that viewers can expect to see characters they recognize and love in Outlander Blood of My Blood. On the other hand, Outlander Blood of My Blood will primarily revolve around the relationship between Jamie Fraser's parents, Ellen and Brian. Showrunner Matthew B. Roberts has clarified that the core of the series is a love story. It will delve into the depths to which individuals will go in search of love, especially in a historical period when love is often seen as a luxury. During that time, marriages were frequently arranged for political or financial reasons. Throughout the original Outlander series, there have been hints and whispers about the backstory of Ellen and Brian. These allusions include suggestions that they eloped from Castle Leoch during a significant event known as the Great Gathering. These details, which have been teased in the existing series, may finally be explored in Outlander Blood of My Blood. Furthermore, Diana Gabaldon, the author of the book series upon which the TV show is based, continues to expand upon the backstory of Ellen and Brian in her books. This additional source material could serve as the foundation for some of the plot lines in the prequel series. Matthew B. Roberts is taking on the role of showrunner for Outlander Blood of My Blood, the prequel series. This means he's leading the creative direction and overall production of the new show. While we don't have the full crew details at the moment, we do know that key writers from the original series are involved. Ronald D. Moore, who played a significant role in developing the original show, and Meryl Davies, known for her work on Star Trek Insurrection, will be part of the team. Additionally, novelist Diana Gabaldon, whose book series serves as the source material for Outlander, will continue in her role as a creative consultant. 
This means she will provide guidance and input to help ensure that the prequel stays faithful to the source material and maintains the spirit of the Outlander universe. Are there more Outlander spin-offs on the way? While there isn't any concrete confirmation yet, Star CEO Jeffrey Hirsch hinted at the possibility of a spin-off from the Outlander series. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, he mentioned ongoing discussions about expanding the Outlander storyline. He expressed a commitment to serving the dedicated audience of the series with compelling stories. One potential spin-off idea involves Lord Grey, a character from Diana Gabaldon's Lord John book series who also appears in Outlander. Lord Grey has a rich and complex backstory, making it a promising source for additional storytelling. This hint from the CEO suggests that Stars is considering the possibility of extending the Outlander universe with new content and potentially creating a broader franchise that encompasses various media forms. On the other hand, in January 2023, it was announced that Outlander had been officially renewed for an eighth season. However, this renewal came with the confirmation that season eight would also be the show's final season. The season was planned to consist of 10 episodes and the executive producers Ronald D. Moore, Matthew B. Roberts, and Meryl Davis would be returning to provide a fitting conclusion to the series. Diana Gabaldon was expected to continue her role as a consultant for Season 8, ensuring the show stays faithful to the source material. Plans for starting production on Season 8 were initially set, but they were delayed due to the Writers Guild of America strike, which has now concluded. But the filming start date became uncertain. Even without the strike, Fans were unlikely to see the final season within the next year because Part 2 of Season 7 was scheduled for release in 2024. Considering the current situation, it's anticipated that Outlander Season 8 will likely be released sometime around 2025 or 2026. While there aren't many confirmed details about Season 8, Diana Gabaldon has revealed that the final season will primarily draw from her ninth book, Go Tell the Bees That I'm Gone. In the novel, Jamie and Claire's relationship faces significant challenges as the backdrop of the American Revolutionary War threatens to tear them and their family apart. The storyline also continues to explore the aftermath of Rob Cameron's actions, a major character in Season 7, and the turmoil he caused for Brianna, Roger, and their family in the 20th century. There are concerns and fears that more individuals with malicious intentions may attempt to track them down. Considering the source material and the potential for creative adaptation, it's likely that the main plot of Outlander Season 8 will revolve around these significant plot points, which involve the ongoing challenges faced by the characters and the historical backdrop of the American Revolution. Well, that's it for today. As we await the arrival of Outlander Blood of My Blood and the final season of Outlander, one can help but wonder about the future of this captivating series. Will we see more spin-offs? perhaps delving into Lord Grey's intriguing character? And when will we finally witness the dramatic conclusion of Jamie and Claire's journey in Season 8? Share your thoughts in the comments section below.